Hello everybody, welcome to a fun little one-off. Uh, I thought I'd kind of go back to the good old days of um, pack opening. Um, so for whatever reason, I don't know why, Hearthstone is doing this sort of uh, promotional thing where they just gave me like 80 packs um, for being a returning player. Uh, I don't know how I got this or why I got this. I absolutely loved these types of videos back in the day. They were, all I would watch would be like CSGO lottos or, or the, um, the, uh, the Hearthstone stuff, right? And I just absolutely love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. It's so fun to watch. And so I kind of wanted to recreate here. Um, so let's just start by opening some packs here. See what we get here. Uh, we want to pull legendaries. So for those who are unaware, those are the yellows. <laughs> we get one on the first go, which is fantastic. Yogg's there and Unleashed. What is the Titan ability? I've never actually known this. They can Titan to use one of three abilities instead of attacking. Oh, very interesting, okay. I've never used that card before. I haven't, I haven't played Hearthstone probably a year or so. This is very cool. This is very cool. It's very interesting. Um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> amazing. First go is already a legendary. Kind of insane. Kind of insane. So apparently these are like, I, I guess they're like newer packs, I suppose. Um, which is pretty cool, I suppose. I, I mean, some interesting cards here in general. Uh, I typically go Shaman. I'm not seeing a lot of Shaman cards, but I mean, a Totem is always a good, good bet. That that would fit with Shaman decks. So, um, but I, I really go with every deck. I, I, I try to do just some creative fun decks. So maybe in future... With all these all these fun new cards, I might give it a go. I like a warrior class too, to be honest. Um, so you know, I, I mean, I have a lot of cool fun decks that I, I think I really want to explore for future potentially. And yeah, I mean, this is just fantastic. The fact that this game is just rewarding players for coming back to the game with 80 new decks, absolutely wild, absolutely wild. Because show how many cards are in the game now at this point. Um, I love that. Wish I could zoom in. I can zoom in now, right? I can't zoom in. Oh, that sucks. Wish you could. Um, but very cool. Very cool stuff in general. I mean, I can't believe we pulled a legendary the first go. That's that's kind of insane. Kind of insane. Um, purples are also pretty good. Am I like a seer? Can I just like see into the future? Like whenever I say it, it's happening. That's insane. Oh my gosh. Champion of Storms. Shaman Glass. Shaman Glass as well. I don't really go elemental very often, but maybe it's interesting. Oh, that's so funny. Oh my gosh. Look at this guy, too. He's so cute. He's so cute. But yeah, no, Hearthstone, I absolutely was like my whole college life was just playing Hearthstone on stop. I never got like that good at it because I never really paid to, paid to win a lot of the time, uh, which is what the game is about. It's just paying for five legendary cards at the end of the day. Also, the quest cards, in my opinion, completely ruined Hearthstone. Um, I hope that they got rid of them. They might have. I haven't seen a quest pop up yet, so. But they are epics. We don't really got one epic, so. Um. We'll see, but that, that was when I kind of stopped playing. I fell off the game when they added quests, because if you didn't have a quest in your deck, you just lost. You just lost, period, point blank. And I never got a quest in my holes, so I was like, okay, well, fuck me, I'm just gonna lose. <laughs> I like all the little achievements I'm getting for all the card collecting I'm doing. Kind of insane. Kind of insane. Um, but yeah, you always get a rare guaranteed in the four commons. That's usually the, usually the way to go. Um, I'm trying to get a lot of dust for this too, to be honest, which is uh, sort of when you get duplicate cards. At some point, you start getting rid of them and turning them into crafting materials. Uh, momentum. But yeah, definitely give this game another shot if you um, are returning and you see the offer pop up on your on your battle net. Like, why not take a free 80 cards, 80 packs? You know what I mean? Absolutely fantastic idea to kind of draw people back into the game. So it's the problem with this game is you just fall behind. Um, in the card collecting if you don't like buy the packs and like stay and stay on top of things you know you're using old cars like just don't do the same thing anymore stuff like that uh battle card choose your next choose one card where power has both effects combined fantastic card um i love those decks they're really good kind of expensive card though four mana feels kind of steep but not the worst Well, that's nuts. I mean, it's a four cost, so it makes sense, but still, it's pretty crazy. Very nice, very nice. So this is like the Titans deck. Okay, okay just Titans a new ability for this this season. Very cool, very cool. I don't think I'll ever do like Hearthstone vids, like straight up. Um, maybe I don't know. We'll see. It, it depends how well this pull goes, to be honest. Uh, I might get back into the game just because of how exciting this is. I love getting new fun cards uh, and just building fun decks for like hours on end, just trying to brainstorm what works. So, 511 Valkyrie with Rush, when one dies, given the other is plus one plus one. Ooh. 
It's a six mana cost, though, so it's definitely a fair price. That is pretty powerful, though. Good board clear. Just want to do a copy of Damage Minion. Draw one, 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 one. Oh, wow, that's insane, too. Okay. Um, yeah, some really good card signatures. Like, that's a common. That's insane, honestly. Assembly Line, Cycle of Argus, Craftsman Hammer, Molten Rune. Decent cards there. Some decent cards. Um, I'm trying to think of like a class that like I played, who didn't play a lot of back in the day that I just I really didn't like. I think um, I'd say I liked them all. There really wasn't a class that I could play that I wouldn't play that I would I would succeed with. Maybe Warlock is my best one for that. Honestly, my Warlock class was a bit rough. Never really got around to figuring out what to do with that class. It's also not bad. It's not bad either, it's just, it's interesting. The Death Knight. The Death Knight? Wait, what is the Death Knight? Is that a new class entirely? Might be. Rogue. Oh, Rogue is my problem. I remember Rogue now. Yeah, my Rogue classes are always terrible. Um, give a friendly mech plus two plus two and this death rattle. I love having mechs. There's a new mech class. Interesting. Mech Beast. So mech and mech beast are things. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Okay. I wonder if they still apply other mech abilities or not. Reasoning character. Do we have any? It looks like it's like a stacked thing. So it would be like mech and a beast. Oh, right. That would make a lot of sense, actually. Golden common and a golden rare in one deck. And another rare. Very nice. That was a really good deck. Two goldens. Pretty nuts. Pretty nuts. Pretty nuts. The golden is just like the holographic variant in um, Yu-Gi-Oh. Those are curious. Um, but this game just has so much style, so much fun. The card play itself is some of the best out there, to be honest. Very few games kind of top it. Um, and yeah, it's really fun. It's a really fun card game. I'll fix it. I really do enjoy playing it. My goodness, though. Oh, another legendary. A&R, the Life Bender. Let me open that two first. Um, Titan. If using an ability, summon 558 five, Ancient with, ta with Taunt. Okay. That's insane. I wonder what the abilities are. Um, I wish I could view them, but fortunately I've had to view them in game. Or just look them up. But I don't like to look it up. I don't have to. Okay, very nice. Down with the ship. Celestial Projectionist. And frozen over three rares in one go is really solid. Uh, Death Knight is very interesting. I don't think Death Knight was in the game when I started playing. I think that's a new class. Very interesting. It might be. It just might be. Aqua Archivist. Mindbender. One damage each card you draw on this turn. Demon Hunter, I remember. Demon Hunter was like the newest class by the time I quit. But I mean, I've hopped back on this game time and time again, you know what I mean? Um, when like you get the welcome back packs, you know, the shop deals were a lot better usually. It's like $20 is kind of insane. But like, it used to be like 5 bucks. Also, like, what am I saying? Like, they gave me fucking 80 packs, which is just nuts. Plus another like two that were like, hey, you catch up packs basically, right? So just really good, really good stuff. Um, the Shaman, Flash of Lightning. Uh, draw one card, next turn your nature spells cost one less. That can be really powerful if you do, do a nature Shaman deck. Really, really good. Really like it. Um, very solid stuff. Golden Common again, nice. This is there not the worst. Okay, the Rogue decks, I, I don't really care about the Rogue cards too much. Personally, I mean, Rogue decks are always just terrible, so I'm just like, ah, eh, whatever. Don't really care. That kind of sucks, but it's kind of cool that they're giving us 40 in like the newest pack too, or like one of the newest packs, probably, right? Golden Common, Golden Common there, glowing flames, very nice. It's just satisfying to open them, you know what I mean? It really is. It's cool to see all the fun little card effects and things. I love it. I absolutely love it. If you go to something like this, I would freak out and actually jump back on that game. You know what I mean? I really, really would. That's like the one game where I'm like, card elements are really fun. It's just like, ooh, double epic. Very nice. It's a little too meta for me, though. This game might be too, to be honest, at certain ranks, but it's pretty cool. Um, regardless. Ancient of Growth. Choose one. Summon three, two, two, treants. Transform your treants into five, five ancients with taunt. That could be insane. That could be insanely powerful. Plus one, let's you should play get shuffled into your enemy deck. <laughs> Rush Reborn. Wizard's Twin Health first time it dies. Very nice. Death Knight has some really interesting cards. I'm really excited to try it out. 
I might try it out in this video. I might not. I might do another one. Who knows? Um, I probably will do another one, to be honest. I mean, this is already 10 minutes. You know what I mean? We'll definitely reach 20. But I just love to see the fun little cards and everything. Shadow Touch Clav Clavdeer. Your next healing effect deals damage instead. That's a fun one. That's a one mana card, too. That's really solid. That could be really handy. Like, good board clear. I mean, the, I mean, the, the heal instead of damage is such a good, like, thing for that priest because it's just a better mage at that point, which is awesome. Throgn Thrognir Drake. Whenever you attack someone, three, two, three, one whelps, attack the first target. Yeah, very cool. Very cool stuff. Very cool stuff. And we are onto the normal packs now, so this will be a lot more of the basic cards, I would say. But, I mean, I still I still think a lot of the cards from, like, the previous, like, decks or whatever come into here. So, like, there's still a lot of new cards that I'll be unlocking, which is pretty cool. There's the Puffer Fist. Okay. Abyssal Wave. Deal 4 damage to all minions. Give your opponent an Abyssal Curse. I don't know what the Abyssal Curse does, but it sounds pretty cool. He has, like, fist the Festival cards are in here, things like that. So they kind of just add them into the main bulk of things. I think these are also just like anything, anything goes decks kind of thing. I, don't, I, I mean, I don't know, to be honest, but I feel like that's the case. So I do have random card backs. I just like the, the variety. Um, so if you're noticing that, that's why they are changing a lot. Um, Bright Blood Berserker. Reborn Death Red will deal three damage to a random enemy. Undead Shaman is interesting. I wonder if there's more undead cards for the Shaman to like collect with that. Trinket Tracker. Draw one draw one cost spell. Okay, very interesting. Yeah, I used to have like the plugin and everything for Hearthstone. Uh, I forget the exact name of it. I might actually re-get it, honestly. Uh, it's such a useful plugin. Um it's not technically cheating, I don't believe. Um I mean I don't know, I've been using it for a while. I, I don't use it. I, I mean I use it, but like I'm like so like high ranked anyway, I don't think it really matters. It's just a fun little tracking tool for like what you've drawn in your deck, what you still have left, you know what I mean? I don't think it's cheating. I don't know. I've seen people use it before. I think it's fine. But I, I really do like it. It does improve the game tenfold. I feel like they would have put a stop to it, you know what I mean, if it was cheating? Like the Hearthstone uh, plugin. But I could be wrong. I could be just way off, and it's like, no, this is really not kosher, but I don't know. Uh, runic Adornment. Discover a spell, costs three or less. Shuffle two copies of that in your deck when drawn. Two epics in one go. Love to see that. A Murloc. I never liked a Murloc class, but it's cool that's all classes, so that might come in handy. I know it's ironic to say I, I like the Shaman the most, but I don't like the Murloc stuff. But I really just don't. I like totems. I like building around totems. I think that's my favorite thing. Not bad. So far, no legendaries from this set. Um, but a lot of epics, to be fair. So it's not the end of the world. I love that card. And talk to. I love the rogue like look. The rogue look and feel is my favorite. I think it's just um. When it comes to actually using those decks, I really don't fully understand the power behind them. It's a lot of comboing and stuff like that, and like very like small slices, and it's like, eh, I feel like every other class is better. Oops. There we go. Man, I'm really not pulling very good cards here. I guess I got kind of lucky with some legendaries though in the last deck, so I'm not going to be complaining too, too much. Epic's pretty good. John Bucket. Very nice. Murlocs in your hand. 1 1. Repeat for each Murloc you control. Warlock Murloc would be interesting. Um, I actually think that would be pretty powerful. Thornman's a musician. The Quillbores. Oh, I don't really have a lot of Quillbore cards, so it's good to see that. Love to see me some totems. Love to see me some totems. And more Quillbores, too. I'd love to see more Quillbores. Oh, there's a Legendary. The Jailer, Battlecry, destroy your deck. This minion gains immune. Whoa. How insane. They, so he can't be damaged, it's just a free 10-10 on the board. 
there's so many things that kill this. Like a hex. If you're playing against a shaman with a hex, it's over. You know what I mean? Or something like that. Like, it's just over. So that's a very risky card. I can see that being good, but it's very risky. Fox Totem, Shaman card, nice. It's a mixed uh, class one. Love to see it, love to see it. Golden Rare is very cool. It's rated Bone Spike. Let's have this Rogue card. Again, like the Rogue is just... Maybe I'll try a Rogue deck at some point, but... Not a huge uh, Rogue user, to be honest. Two of the same cards kind of sucks there, but that's okay. I went to the end of this here, but I mean, this was pretty cool. Considered. I'm glad they definitely gave us these for free, of course. So that was that was really nice. Or maybe not free, maybe it's like to like a select percentage of players who like bought, spend enough money in this game or whatever the frick the thinking is. Um, you know what I mean? But this is just so kind. Absolutely huge ups to uh, all that net for once in their life. It's hard to say about that company sometimes, but um, uh, they, they came through here. Blizzard came through. Really good stuff. Really good stuff. Sinstone Totem. Your health turn gain one health. A lot of totems I'm getting, which I'm very happy about. I, I love to see me some totem. I might I might do a totem deck. We'll see how I'm feeling about that. The ones that cost two more, they keep the original cost. Okay. Very nice stuff. Very nice stuff. Right, very nice. Two rares and one's pretty good. One more legendary would be fantastic this last seven. I'm curious if I get out of here. I might, I might not. Either way, I'm, I feel like I, I came through here pretty well, mostly considered. Handful of rares that I'm really happy, I'm really happy about. Um, I got the one deck of two epics, which was pretty much a legendary equivalent. Um, some just in cards there too. I just did it for a lot of my decks and like what I can do around these cards to like figure out a new fun way to play the game. Because um, I think that's the thing about Hearthstone is like there's so many fun decks you can build. It sucks that a lot of it goes to like five meta decks to be honest, but I say as a totem shaman like a year ago or whatever, two years ago. But still, like you know, it sucks that it has to go to that at some point. Um, every time you play this game, because like there's so many fun cards that you can just mess around with. Two epics in a row again. Love to see that. The Hollow Technician and the Enchanter. Uh, so I'll just say Mage 1. After any minion takes exactly one damage, destroy it. That's so good with the Mage ability. Oh my god, that's insane. Every minion... Like, if, I, if you have 5 mana, you do this plus the Hero Power. Or even Hero Power at 1 with that other card. And then having that, just to have like a free kill for anything, is so good. So, so good. So, so good. Or even, like, an Arcane Blast would kill everything, right? Like, that's insane. Actually insane. Okay. Yeah, that card's nuts. I didn't even look at the other ones. I was just so shocked. And that's the last one, unfortunately. So, Lead Dancer. Uh, the highlight there. The rare. But, yeah. Uh, overall, that was a pretty good haul, all things considered. Um, really, really solid stuff. Um, this game always has a lot of fun stuff going on. You know, it's, it's fantastic. It, it really is fun. It just sucks that it's always, like, super pay to win and stuff like that. Oh, Age of Mythology. So, another one. We forged a card this game, crafted a custom weapon. Very cool, very cool, very cool. Love, just love the ASMR of this. It's fantastic. Uh, if you don't love it, I'm sorry. But I absolutely, I dig it a lot. Hey, look at this. You know what I mean? Just hear it. Very nice. Another card here too. Posic Audio Engineer. Adds two three two three bots to your opponent's hand. Death Rattle summon them for yourself. Oh, that's pretty cool. But he you um you need to die like turn up or like turn after to make that activate. So it's interesting. It's an interesting card for sure. But also like Damila Dak is very interesting with that too. I wonder what their cost is. Nice. Very nice, very nice. A lot of this is just playing the game, I believe. So that one's not really going to happen. But if I do play a game, I do get another pack, which is pretty cool. And I think it's actually like a coming back pack, which is like a ton more points. Wow, yeah, look at that. Holy moly. That's a lot of, uh, this is like 50 card packs, basically. 
those who are unaware. So honestly, I might end up playing this game a bit more. Um, very cool. But I think I think for now what I'm gonna do is do some deck building. Um, also do some crafting. Definitely see how much uh, some chanting I, I get here. Only 90, which is shocking. Um, that kind of sucks. But um, what do you do? You know what I mean? But yeah. Um, what does guys suck? I was really hoping for more there. Only 250 is not gonna really get us anything, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, basically, uh, I will be giving this a go. I've kind of just made some crazy, crazy decks. Like these two are my favorite for sure. Um, but also some really fun ones over here. Try the element. Try a lot of these decks. A lot of them aren't really very good, to be honest. I can probably delete most of them pretty safely. Uh, Control Warrior is pretty bad. I'm really just gonna keep the two. That's it. Yeah. But regardless. What I would do basically actually with these stacks, I remember now, I would just like say a color and then the class, and I would just try to pick all the cards that lined up with that color, even if it made like no sense. So like this hunter, for example, just like all the brown shaded cards and just like trying to make it work. It was so freaking fun. Red Warlock, just all the red cards. I remember that. That was so goofy. I might travel those decks in the future, but I mean, or maybe like try to remake, remake one and see if I can make it work. Or I would spell words. So anything begin with W, A, or R, I would have to do. Oh, these are so goofy. Oh my gosh. They were terrible decks, though. Absolutely god awful decks. I would never win games, but it's so fun to, to just try and experiment with fun little decks. I, I'm going to keep doing that, I think. Um, I do actually really do miss this game, and I think it's fun content. All things considered, especially uh, just to show off like some really fun cards and really fun dynamics potentially. Uh, these two decks I really love. They're really fun. Spell Taunt um, Priest, which is just about like healing spells and just like playing spells and stuff, but also having these really powerful taunts. For example, Fortune Teller for that benefits off of how many spells you can have in your deck. Um, other taunts that just do really fun stuff. It, it's it's a very interesting control y type of deck. And then the Ingrage Warrior, of course. Um, this one's a little more obvious, just having a ton of cards to benefit from Enrage. Um, obviously, I might even have more the more I play um, and, and collect all those cards, right? So, I'm very curious to see how I can optimize these two decks, but also, like, keep moving into, like, new decks and creating really fun stuff. I mean, apparently, there's even a new class. Uh, if I can find it, Death Knight. I guess I have to do uh, the prologue um, for that before I can actually unlock it. But um, I will definitely do that off screen. Uh, I'm sure that's not nearly as entertaining as card opening. So if you enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe. More Hearthstone to come. I don't know how, in what form or how, um, but I actually really do love this game, and it's fantastic. So um, I'll do some deck building. I'll do some stuff on the side, and then we will uh, get to the next one.